Hey, I'm Gory B. Movie. I'm Danny Nightmare. And we're Horror Addicts. And we are going to be live streaming the Dr. Frank's Build a Boyfriend game. What? We're going to build a boyfriend. Why? I'm going to make you a man. Oh, no. <laughs> so, uh, I have no idea what we're getting into, but it's been a while since uh, we've streamed a game. So, uh, let's get into some late night gaming with Dr. Frank. I'm gonna need some alcohol. Uh, I think we're both gonna need copious amounts of alcohol. All right. Heden Games. Heden. Oh, that was like hedonism. I think it's like hedonism. German. Awesome. Possibly. What do I, what do I know? And there's nobody here, so there's nobody, to, no one to judge us. <laughs> no judgy judges. Uh, they might show up. They might not. Who knows? We're we're gaming in secret because it's it's the it's uh almost three a.m. where we're at. So it's good. We've ha been on a ninety day streaming ban because we tried to do a commentary of Night of the Lepus. So uh, I blame the bunnies for that. Damn rabbits. So uh, what better way to get our feet wet, so to speak, than oh. building a boyfriend? Late in the evening hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, things are about to get naughty. Oh boy. Are you ready? Sure. Hmm. Dr. Franks, build a boyfriend. <laughs> Load. I hope we get a sexy boyfriend. I. No. I wonder what the extras are. You're trying to get into the extras without having finished one ending? My dude, I am judging you. Oh, that's a judgy fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> At least play all the way. So I guess that means there's gonna be multiple endings. So that's cool. Multiple I am. boyfriends. Hey! Joyful Leader is here! Well, somebody is watching, so uh, we best uh, <laughs> kick it up a notch. <laughs> uh, step up a game. Alright, uh, Joyful Leader, we're gonna be playing Dr. Frank's Build a Boyfriend. So it's Frankenstein building a boyfriend. Hey, and Time Lord! <laughs> yeah, we're we're gonna build a boyfriend. So everyone, uh, we have no idea what we're getting into. Wish us luck. Let's hit start. Let's make him like a doctor. Oh God. Once upon a time, in a treacherous mountain hillside in Gynel. Gynel. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think I'm supposed to click. Mm -hmm. There lived a wondrous, amazing, and most incredible scientist named Dr. Frank. Looks pissed. I like his pink hair. And yes, he was a doctor. He finished like half of both of his doctors uh, before he got kicked out. That totally counts. Totally. And everyone lay off about this? Sure. Ahem. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... Super awesome Dr. Frank spent his days toiling away at his research, pursuing his lifelong dream of bringing people back from the dead. Everyone's got to have a dream. It wasn't for any sentimental reasons. There wasn't some long lost loved one he wanted to bring back or anything. No, this was for much more noble pursuit. The aim of advancing mankind's scientific knowledge. And yet it was the same research that caused the local villagers and even the weak-minded university men to fear him. Because they were stupid and jerks and they couldn't possibly understand the sheer genius of Dr. Frank's work. Hey, can I put in a request when we get to building boyfriends? Can we build a girlfriend for Time Lord too? Aww. She must like horror Burger King and have warm hands. Already, I don't qualify because I have the coldest hands. Yeah. So I guess it's good that I, I have yeah. you. <laughs> Two out of three boxes. Though. <laughs> I'm not good enough, Time Lord. <laughs> but it was no matter, for the genius doctor was an honorable and humble man who simply continued this most critical research, even if it meant he was completely alone. This is the saddest story I've ever heard, and I watched Reanimator today. <laughs> well, okay, he wasn't totally alone. Iggs was there, 
and he was a fine assistant, even though he keeps asking for raises. But the point is, one day, a sudden knock came at the door. And one, uh, and the scientist opened it to find a beautiful man with a radiant glow standing there. He's not that beautiful. He doesn't have eyes. In his heart, he felt a strange, previously unknown feeling begin to form as the man opened his mouth and said... Uh, to Time Lord, really quick, he said he went to the chiropractor and she had the coldest hands. At least you didn't go to the urologist. Just saying. <laughs> Burr. <laughs> Uh... Oh, the gorgeous specimen is talking. Yo, what up? Name's Dominic. You're that freak that got kicked out of the Hindenburg, you? For those weird death experiments, right? He sounds sexy. It was like an angel had been sent to meet him, and now that angel was asking about his research. No matter what Dr. Frank did, he couldn't stop his heart from pounding. The good doctor invited the man in, and they quickly got to know each other. Hey, Lightning Gaming! You're joining me as we're going to build a boyfriend, so uh, stay tuned. And as the days passed and the man's visits grew longer and longer, their relationship also grew into something romantic. Oh, it's a love story. I don't even use them fishing poles. <laughs> Dr. Frank had never given his heart to anyone before, but maybe for him, maybe for this man named Dominic. Dot, dot, dot. Three, Three. months later. <laughs> I, I'm used to doing I never want to see another beautiful boy again! Dr. Frank, are you still in there? No one is here to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. The door opens and my assistant Iggs walks into my room. I guess that's you talk. You talk to Frank. I try to bury myself further into the sheets, hoping that maybe he won't see me. Instead, he rudely opens the blinds. It's been a week, Dr. Frank. Oh, I like his never give up poster. <laughs> Quasimodo the tire. <laughs> so I can be sad as long as I want. I lost the love of my life! Frank. Doctor. He waves his arms in in the air out of frustration. Look. I know he meant a lot to you. I mean, he was your first, right? And no one likes being dumped, especially when it was so out of the blue like that. <laughs> but sitting... I can't do it. <laughs> but sitting in your room all day, crying into your bed sheets, isn't going to help you recover. You need to... Leave me alone. He said I was cute. I was in love. He was my boyfriend. You couldn't possibly know what I'm going through. Actually, Dr. Frank, I've gone through my fair share of breakups myself. You do know how I met my current boyfriend, right? He's a boyfriend? Apparently. Wow. So yes, I think I do know what you're... Oh yeah, I gotta click. <laughs> <sighs> How could you say that to me? My love was special, unique. It wasn't like your love. It was destiny. I roll further into my blankets, breaking my sightline with his egregious interloper. Bye. I don't get paid enough for this. Dr. Frank. He starts to pull the blanket off of the bed, against which I double my rolling efforts to keep him at bay. I didn't come here to fight with you. Why did they just hook up? Oh, because he's already got a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. oh, that makes sense. 
Can you stop? We have a problem. I can feel his grip lessen, and I peek my head out from the blanket cocoon to look at him. I love blanket cocoon, side note. <laughs> He's holding a piece of paper in his hands with a weird look on his face. I tentatively grab it and start reading. You are the father. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow's the Hindenburg University conference. You know, the one people travel from all over the country to see. Oh. Well, the conference schedule was posted today. And... What the hell is this? Right in front of me, in plain letters, is... Returning from Death to Life, a breakthrough study by Dominic Nillion. Resurrection? But that's my research. But it's Dominic presenting it? I... this... this can't be right. He wouldn't be presenting my research under his own name. I tried to tell you last week that I noticed him leaving with some folders the day he dumped you, but you were too busy crying into a gallon tub of ice cream to listen. No, this couldn't. He, he... That asshole! First he breaks my heart and dumps me out of the blue. And he even, and even after he called me babe. I mean, how could he say that? And then, do this! He takes my research, my baby, and now he's presenting it to those jerkwads at Hindenburg University like they hadn't rejected my exact same proposals years previous? Why did he get accepted while I was kicked out? Well, your thesis project did bite the headmaster's hand clean off, Dr. Frank. It was one time. Ugh. Whatever. That's not important right now. What's important is that Dominic is about to claim my research as his own. Maybe even... Maybe... Maybe that was his plan all along. I mean, but we were soulmates. I just knew we were. But now, now I don't know. I crumbled the paper in my hands, writhing with angst. There's no way. There's no way I'm going to let him get away with this. That asshole. That asshole ruined my life. He's taken my baby. My research. I throw the blanket off of me, leaping to my feet. Iggs? Yes, doctor? Get the shovel. I'm going to show that asshole what happens when you piss off a scientist. It. Bury him. Time Lord says, poor Eggs, looks like he's just heard he's appearing on Love Island. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't know what Love Island was if it wasn't for, uh, uh I, I hate, hate everything. everything. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Later that night. Ooh, new location. Frank. Doctor. Dr. Frank, I'm pretty sure this is illegal. I look at him, holding a perfectly interesting specimen in my hand. Does this look like the arm of a hot boy to you? I think so. This is illegal. What a puss. A lightning strike touches down a good while off as if to exaggerate his statement. No one's using these, it's fine. We are desecrating graves. I mean, I've helped you with a lot of your crazier experiments, but this, this, this is where I draw the lot. Eek! I throw the arm I'm holding up to him, quickly climbing out of the grave. Nyeh. 
So yeah, maybe there's a chance this isn't completely legal. But this is a historical moment, Diggs. If we're going to create the first artificial life form and show up that asshole and those idiots at the university, we cannot skimp on anything. We're not just using the world's first artificial life here, we're pushing the boundaries of human capability. We're going to create the world's hottest boy. And then Dominic will take one look at him and then realize that he was a fool for leaving me and an even bigger fool for taking my research because now I have someone even hotter than him. How honorable, Dr. Frank. I like that he's got his priorities in order. Iggs appears to be trying to find the perfect position to hold the specimen up with the least amount of bodily contact. You see... People who advanced the boundaries of human capability were never stopped by silly things like laws. Now quick, I heard that Mr. Lance has a pretty big penis. We can use that. Suddenly something moves in the underbrush. He quotes that. Hey, watch what you're doing. You almost dropped our precious spoils. But didn't you hear that, Dr. Frank? I think there's something. Again, a noise breaks out from behind us. Well then, hurry up and find that penis. <laughs> d -d 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 Frank, b -b behind you. I quickly spin around, a sudden ominous feeling in the pit of my stomach. There's a man I've never seen before standing there. I'm sorry. Was I disturbing something? Oh, <laughs> uh, no. I step back into Iggs, hoping that this stranger cannot see any of our souvenirs. Ooh, 1970 DJ wants a faculty review. I love that movie. Mm. We should make that happen. I'm so sorry. It was his idea and... I punch him quickly before he can say something stupid. This causes him to recoil, and the arm we've been arguing over not a few minutes earlier lands on the ground with a loud thud. The man takes a clear look at what dropped on the ground and looks back at me. What was his idea? The man takes a step closer to us. Uh oh, it's getting steamy. I quickly position myself in front of the dropped arm, holding my breath. Oh, fu- Iggs! <laughs> You're so funny. Such a kidder. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow, it sure is cold out here all of a sudden. Well, we should be going now. I grab our bag of loot and dash away as quickly as my legs can take me. Iggs yelling after me, telling me to slow down. It was nice to meet you, Dr. Frank. Joyful Leader, I have to ask, is that the Ramones Pet Cemetery? Because if so, that is a great song to have stuck in your head. End scene. <laughs> <laughs> if I get arrested, I'm suing you. What a little bitch. <laughs> I dump the bag's contents onto the table, body parts falling out and bouncing off the floor. Said I'm going to sue you. Hmm, I think we have just enough. Hmm. Dr. Frank, do we even need all these? Why did you take so many to begin with? Iggs, we are making art here. We can't just use any body part we find. We must use only the absolutely most beautiful pieces. I pick up some arms to take a closer look. Like these, see? These are absolutely gorgeous. Look at that keratin. Or, actually. Hmm. Not as beautiful as the one you dropped, but I suppose you're right. They're beautiful enough. You say that as if I dropped it out of my own free will. And not because someone punched me. Hmm, now where did we put the... Ah! 
shoot. I turned to look at my assistant. We have a problem. Like how he just desecrated dozens of graves, hacked off and stole family members' body parts, and then we were spotted doing so? Oh, look who just waltzed in. It's OCD horror. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this game is weird, dude. <laughs> Good to see you. Well, no, not that. We... I pause, unsure of how to say this. We didn't grab any... Any? You know. I gesture downward shyly, hoping he'll get the reference. I have no idea what you're trying to say. Dick! We didn't grab any dicks! Oh. Well... This is terrible. We even had the perfect specimen with Mr. Lance's penis, but how am I supposed to make Dominic jealous of me now? Dr. Frank, do you honestly think that is what is going to make Dominic jealous of you? Yes. Huh. We need to go back. Absolutely not. He blocks my exit, making sure I can't retrieve any other body parts. You see their top secret poster in the background? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's so very scientific. Body plus something equals... Plus magic pl equals, equals magic, magic man. <laughs> God, we don't have time for this. Fine. We need to, uh, I hate saying this. I'll just, I'll just improvise. Some other books. One's magic upside down, one's poop. One's stuff. <laughs> Is it everybody poops? One's something poop. Magic, magic poop. <laughs> magic poop there in the corner. <laughs> wow. Oh. It's fine. It's totally fine. We're still making something beautiful here. We just need to be creative. Let our creative juices flow. Now let's see. Ooh, okay. Uh, time to start picking boyfriend parts. All right, so everyone in the chat, I see Simon, Lightning Gaming, Joyful Leader, OCD Horror. We need your help to build a hot guy. A hot guy <laughs> that's going to make Dominic jealous. So do, oh my God, we get to choose his penis? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the hair. Let's look at our hair options. What do you think, Dan? Gaggy. It looks like Shaggy's hair, actually. Uh, it's kind of like your Lord of the Rings hair? No. Uh, <laughs> the Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Katniss? <laughs> yeah, it looks like Katniss. Uh, Samurai? Samurai? Uh, the uh, Fohawk? <laughs> uh, emo? And bald. And bald. All right, so those are the hair options. Uh, let us know in the chat which hair option you like best. Now let's look at hair color. There, the options are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, brown, black, tragic anime boy. <laughs> okay, so those are our, our options for hair. I'm going with tragic anime boy. <laughs> I'm leaning towards tragic anime boy too. Let's but, see what uh, they pick though. Yeah. We're going to let the chat uh, choose pretty much uh, either if we get a lot of one more spawns or the first one uh, we're just going to go with. <laughs> Let's look at these eyes. Hard to describe the eyes. Maybe you and I should just pick eyes. I thought it was going to be color, but... Oh, look at those! They sparkly. have, like, little sparkles in them. <laughs> Serious eyes. Those are, like, little ingenue eyes. Robert Smith hair. Joseph Hall, thanks! Uh, is there Robert Smith hair? Is that kind of Robert Smith hair? Joseph wants Robert Smith hair, and I am going to try to make that happen. I think it was the last one. That one? That one? think so. Okay, so Joseph, do you want this one that's kind of anime looking or emo looking or this one that's more crazy? Let me know. I'm going to go with this one because I think that's the one you want. And Joyful Leader wants purple hair. And then what kind of eyes do you want, honey? Uh, serious. What do you <laughs> consider to be hot, eye bo hot boy eyes? None. <laughs> serious, I guess. Um... Oh, 
OCD horror wants tragic anime boy. All right, you guys need a, uh, a Joseph. We need a tiebreaker. You need to choose between either purple or tragic anime boy or anybody else who's happened to be watching. We need a tiebreaker. The first one. Okay, Joseph, am I on the right hair now or do I need to change it? Because I don't know. You're on the last one. All right, that one. I think he wants that one. All right. All right, let me know if that's the right one. All right, for eyes. Okay, guys, we got sparkle eyes. Serious eyes and like doe eyes. Yeah, there's a penis section, Joyful Leader. Of course, there's a. They know what's important in this game, all right? Now let's look at skin color. We have green, dark, greenish brown, brown, yellowy, I think they're greeny. All zombie. <laughs> they're all zombie colors. And uh, I think I'm the only woman. Here, correct me if I'm wrong, anybody in the chat. Uh, I don't know if anyone's lurking or if anyone's a woman, and I just don't know. I mean, I don't know. It can all be women for all I know. Anyway, so I, unless there's any other women, oh, I think, or anybody who's inclined towards dudes, I think I get to choose the dong. Sure. So uh, anybody who is either uh, interested in men or chick or whatever, I don't know. If you like dudes, let me know, and then help me pick the wiener. So, penis, we have no worst bite. Little carrot. <laughs> that it sounds adorable. That's my vote. Modest cucumber. Ooh, that's, that sounds good. Chunky gourd. Gross. <laughs> Double trouble. Ooh, I like that. Probably means two. Just like my aunt. I don't get that. Probably means he is. Uh, little carrot, modest cucumber, <laughs> chunky gourd. <laughs> Hopefully. I like modest cucumber. It sounds, I don't know, that sounds kind of sexy. Little carrot sounds funny. Okay, so I need a tiebreaker on the hair between purple and tragic anime boy. So Joseph Hall or Simon, if you're still watching, someone help me out here. I need a tiebreaker. And skin color, hon, what do you think? Green. That right. color. They all look like that, that color. Area. That color. <laughs> that color. I kind of like that one. All right, so we need a tiebreaker on the hair color, and then we will move forward. Oh, modest cucumber. Thank you, Joyful Leader. All right, so purple or tragic anime boy? Joseph, we're counting on you, buddy. Purple. All right, we got purple. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, Joyful Leader just changed his their pick. <laughs> what else? All right, well, I got two for purple, so I'm going with purple. Uh, the eyes. Actually, no, purple. <laughs> You're confusing me. <laughs> purple. Purple nurples. All right, what eyes do you like? That one's okay. I like no. the sparkles. Is... Oh, that one's all right. Intense eyes? Yeah. The doe eyes. No. Building a boyfriend out of doe. I think those eyes look too worried. I don't want a boyfriend that's afraid of us. That one. Those ones? All right, what do you guys think of our picks? Is this going to be a hot boyfriend or not? Let us know. There is a magazine here that says Hunks Allure. Honey, would you open the window? It's freaking hot in here. I think it's our boyfriend. It's making me all like hot and bothered and sweaty. Oh, all right, Iggy. <laughs> Action. All right, so what do you guys think of our boyfriend? Does he sound good? I think he's going to be good. Let's take a look at him. Should we do it? Confirm. Confirm. Oh my god, I'm so excited! <laughs> Perfect. Um, Dr. Frank, what were those penis options just now? God, don't be such a prude. Iggs, open the roof doors. I need a little atmosphere as I make history here. He sullenly, sullenly goes to the crank, reluctantly beginning to turn it. Oh my god, are you guys excited to see the boyfriend? <laughs> The ceiling creaks open, showing the dark, turbulent skies and cold, harsh rain above us. <laughs> I, I think uh, Joyful Leader approves of our boyfriend. I'm sorry, OCD Horror, I had two for purple. <laughs> I raise my arms up, catching the coldness in my outstretched hands. There's a strange sensation in my stomach, a knotting of excitement and anger. 
I'm rising throughout my body, invigorating me with a newfound strength. Ha ha! Ha ha! I only know so many ways to laugh. <laughs> Iggs, Iggs, this is it. It's perfect, the skies. They know that we're about to do the impossible. They know that we're about to... Ha ha! Nothing can stop me. Nothing can stop us. I'm going to show Dominic that I don't need him, that I'll never need anyone like him in my life ever again. He and his kind will become obsolete. We're going to better the world, Iggs. We're going to make it so that no one will ever have their heart broken again. Dr. Frank, you're scaring me. I can do this. I can. I can make the most beautiful boyfriend ever. It's alive! That was for you, Simon. If you're still watching. <laughs> I can't wait to see how hot he is. We work hard through the night, accumulating enough energy from the lightning storm to inject into our subject. We almost fail multiple times, the body not holding the energy as well as it should. But it was no matter. My sheer genius, hard work, and determination carried us through the many hours of grueling surgery. We had done it. We had created the world's most beautiful boy! <laughs> I'm so excited! Drum roll, please! Oh, wow. His nipples are weird. They look like pepperonis. Got one arm stronger than the other. Are his nipples actually pepperonis? They look like taped on pepperonis. Okay, chat, what do you think of our guy? Is he hot? We need to know. <sighs> Dr. Frank, he's kind of ugly. Bitch. Don't say that to him. You'll hurt his feelings. And I'm sure he's beautiful to someone. No, what am I thinking? I made him. He is beautiful and beauty is relative at uh, anyway. Of course. Especially with his, uh, what exactly is that on his abdomen? It's his 128 pack. I figured the more packs you have, the sexier you are. So I added a lot. Huh. Frank. Doctor. Doctor Frank, you uh, you took an, an anatomy class, right? <laughs> well, well, I guess technically, maybe. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> he spoke! Did you hear that, Iggs? My boyfriend spoke. Your what? My boyfriend. Haven't I been saying that this whole time? You've been saying you were going to make a boyfriend, not your boyfriend. Of course I'm making my ultimate boyfriend look at us! I want to see his dong. I wrap my arms around the monster to show Iggs just what I mean. Hehe, <laughs> soft. He returns the hug, lifting me off the ground and nearly breaking my bones in the process. Ah, see? He's... God, I can't breathe! He's so strong! That's sexy, right? Hey, monster, drop him. You drop him right now. The monster lets go of me, and I painfully hit the ground. Dr. Frank, are you all right? <laughs> of course. He's my boyfriend. He just hugged me. Dr. Frank, please stop. Hee <laughs> hee, cute. Um, Iggs, Iggs, did you hear? Dr. Frank, please calm down. He's the perfect boyfriend! <laughs> Iggs, Iggs, look, okay, look. I ran up next to my boyfriend, wrapping my arm around his waist. 
Don't we look good together? Like, would this not make jo Dominic jealous? I don't know if jealous is the word for it. The monster leans over and gives me another hug, this time not so painfully. Ah, he's a hugger. That's the best, the best ultimate boyfriend. Papa is soft. <laughs> Your monster uh. voice is like cracking me up. <laughs> oh no, uh, uh, please don't call me that. I love my papa. Please stop. That, uh, well, that, that must be a glitch. Hehe, <laughs> papa is soft. This is getting weird. <laughs> no, no, I'm your boyfriend. Repeat after me. B-O-Y-F-R-I-E-N-D. Papa likes hugs. Dr. Frank, please make him stop. Don't worry, we can train him out of that. Probably it'll take some time, which, which, well, we probably don't have. Hee <laughs> hee. It doesn't matter. As long as he doesn't talk, it should be fine. He can still be my boyfriend. And let's get moving anyway. If we can leave now, we can easily make it to the University Square before the presentations start. Boyfriend, let's go. We're going on a field trip. Yay, field trip. <laughs> I begin to lead by the hand, wondering how we were going to navigate the narrow stairs leading from my secret lab. Um, surely you're not going to take him into town like that. What do you mean? Well, I mean, he's naked. How else are they going to see his beauty, then? He's going to get arrested for public indecency before you can even make it to the conference. Fair point. Fine, so we'll dress him. I made him uh, pretty big. You did. I'm not sure if I have any clothes that will fit him. Eh. Hmm. Dr. Frank, you need to dress him. Okay, I guess I'll be creative. Objective. Dress your boyfriend. What's happening? It's like an Audrey Tude. <laughs> oh, we gotta go somewhere. Oh, we need to go somewhere. Uh, we're going on a field trip. All right, well, I guess it would make sense to go to the bedroom. Where should we go, gang? All right, guys, uh, everyone in the gory hole, we have these options available to us. We can go to the conservatory where there's an Audrey Tude. Uh -huh. A study, a bedroom, a kitchen, a dining room, or the entryway. So, uh, we'll just wait for you guys to pick something. Bedroom, first, study, conservatory, entryway, dining room, or kitchen. First answer, we'll go with. This is pretty exciting, having a boyfriend. Is that what he is? Is this your first boyfriend, Dan? Apparently you're his papa. <laughs> I like when he calls me daddy. <laughs> papa, don't preach. I'm in trouble, deep. <laughs> I'm just gonna just keep on waiting until we get an answer. Keep drinking some wine. Yeah. <laughs> My only real complaint is we haven't seen his modest cucumber. Ugh. I thought we didn't grab any. Did we somehow get one? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's a real cucumber. Yeah, maybe we need an actual cucumber. <laughs> Did they abandon us when we made our boyfriend? We might have. Was he too hot for them? We might have lost him. Too hot. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, let's see here. You want answered yet? All right. Well, it says there's five of them here, but apparently they're shy. So should we choose for them? Sure. Let's head to the bedroom. The bedroom. <laughs> the boudoir. Where, That's I where just, the magic happens. That's where hopefully there's clothes. That's where the magic happens. <laughs> Rest this modest cucumber. Yep. Okay, Joseph's in the bedroom. See, Joseph just gets me. That's why Joseph and I are friends. Cool. He's smart. 
All right, here we are in the bedroom where we have our little pig, and oh my gosh, he likes bubblegum ice cream? Yeah, that's what he was crying his tears <gasps> into. That's my favorite kind of ice cream, oh. and I can never find it at the store. Wow, we're like the same. Never give up. Can you click on the never give up? I like the never give up. It kind of reminds me of John Cena. So we can click on the wardrobe, the curtains, the poster, the clothes on the floor, the ice cream. Pig. The pig. I'm going to click on the ice cream. Half finished bubblegum ice cream tubs are scattered across the floor. Where did he find those? Because I've never once found bubblegum ice cream at the store. <laughs> Not once. Look, I was sad, okay. Okay, uh, let's see what happens when we click on the bed. A big comfy bed fit for only the best of the best. And by the best of the best, I mean me. Let's click on the pig. My oldest friend, Dr. Oink. <laughs> Doctor. Dominic didn't find her very cute. In hindsight, maybe it was never meant to be. Oh, uh, OCD Horror looked up the tragic anime hair. It's just kind of a white silver color. Uh -huh. Ew. Oh, I don't think we're missing out too bad. Never give All right, up. never give up. A wonderful face to wake up to every day. Does he get porn under his pillow? Uh, we can check in a second. <laughs> a messy assortment of worn clothes I have. I still have a while until laundry day. The only thing that would fit my monster would be... I pick up my old nightshirt. Checks itself before it wrecks itself. <laughs> it's a dirty. DNA. It's also dirty. Perfect. This will fit. But I'm still missing some clothing articles. None of these pants will fit him. Look at the porn real quick. Oh my god, we can click on the porn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Meaty Man Monthly. <laughs> Strictly for research purposes. Yeah, sure. I pick it up and add it to my inventory. Just in case. Alright, uh, let's check the curtains. Pause it. Check these curtains. Daylight. <laughs> That's about my reaction. Oh, we have an inventory. Yeah. I don't want to open these. The skeletons I have stored in here are going to fall out. Well then. Packing was never my strong suit. <clears throat> All right. Well. All right. So, nether room. Yep. Make our way around. Let's just make our way around. Let's go to the study. What's in here? Oh, there's tons of stuff. Okay, jars. I'm going to spruce up my studies somehow, right? Some of these are even handy. Hmm. Get it? Like a hand. Yeah, I got it. I'm going to die alone. <laughs> I pick up yesterday's newspaper. June 8th, 1884, the Hindenburg Times. Gynel's premier newspaper, annual Hindenburg University Conference, sent to astonish. It's that time of year again when the smartest of the smart show off their year-long research at Hindenburg University. This year we have rumors that qu the Queen herself will be in attendance, which makes this year the year to really come down and visit. Please help me, we're trapped in here. I haven't heard from my family in years. <laughs> Okay. When asked how the Queen's attendance will affect this year's conference, Headmaster Aaron said, Well, yes, her presence does put most of us on edge, but we hope that her presence here will be a sign of solidarity towards the science of furthering research that we hope that will be ushered in her rule. Queen herself has banned. Continue on page. But additional sightings of undead creatures traveling. Travelers cautioned. Need the fans too loud? All right, good. Cause hot air. Uh, OCD sent you a message, Danny. <laughs> Dad jokes. Danny found someone. <laughs> you will be all right, Doctor Frank. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Danny the catch. I put the newspaper down. It's got Pokemon on there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. What's this? 
Bubblegum flavored donuts from my favorite pastry shop. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. I feel like Dr. Frank and I are like simpatico. <laughs> I'll finish them later, I, s I swear. It's got a lot of shit. A nice sturdy globe of the world. It's a nice reminder that there exist things outside my door. If I ever stoop low enough to want to leave anyway. What's this? Lots of nifty knickknacks. Huh? Don't enter, go away. But if you want to go to the secret there, you should do that from the overworld map. I read that. A lot of shit in here. More stuff. What's this? That's to leave. Oh. What's this? Uh -huh. The button was set to move the bookshelf, revealing my passage to my secret lab. But I got lazy and I just keep it open all the time now. <laughs> Fair enough. Giant book. A comically large dictionary. It claims that it can translate any script known and unknown to man. Pretty useful. But also painfully heavy. I refuse to carry this, this around if I don't have to. Pick up? Yeah? Put it in the inventory. Yeah. <laughs> it, its weight makes me instantly regret this decision. Gah, this is impossible. <laughs> Cry about it. Should I put the dictionary down? No. No, don't be a pussy. I'm going to die! <laughs> Pokemon. Let's look at the Pokemon. They're limited edition. They look like Beanie Babies. Okay, that's what they are. <laughs> They're limited edition, okay? <laughs> Alright, I think that's... Alright, I think we've, we've exhausted this room. Move on. <laughs> okay, the conservatory. I'm looking forward to this. As soon as I step into the room, the floor beneath my feet shakes. Huh. Suddenly, my feet break through and I fall. Ah! Maybe the book is too heavy. <laughs> the dictionary is too heavy. I knew I should have put more effort into the upkeep of the mansion. Oh, shit. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> well then. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Try again. Yeah. <laughs> So, chat, we died. We are that bad at finding a boyfriend. We killed ourselves with a giant book. We are so bad at finding love that we killed ourselves with a dictionary, which is about the lamest way to die. <laughs> All right. So, yes. Try again. Good luck. Yeah, we're going to need it. Don't All right. The book don't stuff. take the dictionary. All right, so you can die in this game, guys. You can die. You I guys did. have seen the true horror for yourselves, up close and personal. All of you are scarred for life, and I, I'm sorry, not sorry. <laughs> All right, let's check, t take a look around here. Let's go these windows. It's a beautiful day today. A perfect day to kick someone's ass. How many people want to kick some ass? <laughs> Even more plants. <laughs> oh, OCD horror, you thought about that and you didn't warn us? Dude, you're supposed to use your smarts to help us. He did say, I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought he was being a whiny I guy. thought he was being uh, dramatic. Yeah. I have a lot of these. I have a lot of plants, too. Dr. Frank and I are like the same person. <laughs> Most of yours are outside. I might not look like it, but I have a bit of a green thumb. You just can't see it because of my gloves. I'm good at gardening, too. <laughs> Gangrene? Nah. Though Dr. Gangrene is hella cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, I read that. All the plants are made. Oh, an otter too! It's Susie! Oh. My thesis project from my PhD program. He's named after my... after the black-eyed Susan. Look, I built him to specifically lust after the flesh of man. Yes, he's going to bite. That's kind of in his nature. He's gonna bite your dick off. He bit apparently that guy's hand off. There was no need for him to kick me out of the program for it, and he even only bit someone once. That's pretty good for a manny plant. Uh, shovel? Hmm? I can see a shovel sitting behind Susie. I won't be able to grab it without getting close enough for him to attack me. Do we want to grab it? Let's click on the 
<laughs> we want to grab it or not. All right, let's die again. <laughs> it could be fun. Let's see what happens. Okay, fair enough. Last time we were stupid and we didn't listen to the chat. Chat, well, do see. you think we should pick up the shovel or not? Specifically OCD horror. What do you think? A joyful leader? I mean, you are a joyful leader. <laughs> da, na, 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 na. <laughs> na, na, everybody, na, 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 na. <laughs> Says he by us. I'm going to say no just for now. It's like I can always pick it up later. I, like see what it's I made this for my midterm project. We were supposed to make a weed killer. I ended up creating something that makes weeds grow at almost comical rate. On top of that, I'm either deathly allergic to this or it's poisonous. Either way, I don't want to pick these up unless I need to. Pick up? He's really allergic to them. All right, also let us know if we should pick up the weed stuff. Maybe you give the weed stuff to Susie, then you can get the shovel. Yeah. Holding my nose, I put it in my inventory. Achoo! Ugh, this sucks. My man- yeah, okay, right, I read this. La la la. Um... Go to inventory. Why is it making little thingies? Because it's missing or something. Okay, weed killer. Music on Susie? Mm -hmm. My hypothesis- My hypothesis as to what would happen if I were to pour some of the weed grower on Susie is that Susie would grow two heads. Now, in theory, that sounds cool, but in practice, I can only see that ending with someone's death and a headache. So I'll pass. Oh, come on! Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Give it to something else. Look on the glass, see what happens. I can see out to the deck outside. Nothing of importance out there. Oh, kill some other plants, then. <laughs> uh, should we try to... You want to tr kill some plants? I don't know. Yeah, All right. You go in your inventory and I just lose. All right. Let's try that again. Whoa, I better be careful with that. I don't want the plants to overgrow. It would be a hassle to weed all of them. All um, right. Put it back. Fine. Well, wait. What's... No, I love dying. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand sneezing this much. I must put the weed grower back down. What's those little pots in the background? Where already looked at those. Those ones? I keep clicking the same stuff. All right, what's this? A collection of broken pots that I can use to carry around some of the weed grower around. Oh, okay. Grab that then and then put weed killer in it. Grab the weed killer and then use it on the How do I it grab it? Just uh, go click the weed killer again. Say yes when it asks you the question. All right, let's pick it up. And then put it, use it on the pots. All right, he's sneezing. Ah, no! There's a lot of things to click on, dude. Put it inventory. <laughs> there we go. You be the mouse wielder. You're so smart. All right, use it here. Nothing happens. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Put it back, I guess. <laughs> um. Combine. Oh, there we go. Uh, you'd have to have two items. Can't combine it yet. Okay. All right, so we can't do anything with that, so let's just put it down. Yeah. Maybe later. <laughs> I embraced it. Oh, shit! I hit the wrong button. All right, put it down. Should we just go somewhere else? Yeah, let's This get room it. seems dangerous. We don't have any use for it yet. Okay, so we went to the study. The entryway? Yeah, there might be clothes here. Oh, shoes. A joyful leader wants to know if anyone knows the Friday the 13th game. Uh, actually, Danny was playing that a little earlier tonight. Yeah. Right, not on a live stream, but he's playing it. And we yeah. both play it quite a bit. I like how there's missions now. Little stories. Alright, let's check out the entryway. 
The random assortment of shoes are all the footwear I own. Hmm, none of these would fit the monster, though. Naturally, his feet are really big. Shoot, what am I supposed to do? The only person who would have shoes that would fit him is... Dominic. He had left behind a pair of shoes after the breakup. But in a fit of rage, I had thrown them along with all his other shit inside the entryway cupboard and threw away the key. Shit. He's got Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> nice Crocs and no one ever. It's a fancy chair! <laughs> I don't really care. Okay. Can you click his Crocs? Oh, it's, they it's click with everything else. Yeah. A locked cupboard. I'd thrown all of Dominic's things in here after he left me. His shoes are in here. Naturally, it's locked. Shit. The key was long gone. I had fitted to Susie weeks ago. I need to find something to open it with. Either smash it in or pry the door off. So we need this shovel to open the cabinet. Or kill Susie. Alright. The front door. If I want to leave the house, I should do it from the overworld map. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we gotta go somewhere else. We're gonna need to find a way to open that chest in my jig. A nice fancy hanging chandelier. I tried to use the crystals on these and exp- in ex Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Achoo! Isn't I? Achoo! I thought we put the weed color down. <laughs> I tried to use the crystals on these in an experiment once. It didn't work. A nice cabinet filled with expensive old dishes. They were my grandmother's. She used to threaten to cut off my ears if I dropped off any of these. A hanky! A nice fancy napkin. It's completely pristine. Because you know, I've never used it. I decide to pick it up just in case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's look at the table. A nice ornate dining table. It's covered with dust. I can't even remember the last time I used this. Chairs. Are these nice fancy chairs too? I, don't know. I think that's kind of where this is all going. I'm having a hard time clicking on these. Click on the cushion part. Some nice sturdy chairs. Why do I only have three? Because I have used the others in a failed experiment. Naturally. All right, I think there's nothing of news here. Last place to go is the kitchen. Ah, don't squish those. They're the tenants. Miss Pretty Princess, Mr. Handsome Prince, Mr. Slightly Too Devoted, to devoted Knight, Mr. Inappropriately Dressed Butler, and Mr. Her Majesty's Pet. The fuck? No, no, they don't pay any rent, unfortunately. Okay, <laughs> he has tenants. I don't have time to cook. I have science to do. The horizon of human knowledge to expand. Coffee. In case you are wondering, it's possible to stay awake for four days straight while drinking my very own, almost patented, Dr. Frank coffee. Sick Parvis Magna wants to know what time it is. Here, it is 3.26 a.m. <laughs> because sleep is for the week. <laughs> Is there anything useful in this kitchen? Plant. It's a miracle this flower is still alive. I don't even remember the last time I watered it. A window that looks out to my backyard, which he probably never goes into. The grass is so overgrown, it looks a bit like a jungle. Eh, I'll get to it later. Let's see, anything around here? There's this cupboard. Nothing in here except pickled bugs, plants, and unidentified failed projects. Alright, so I think... Dishes. Oh, here are dishes. A pile of dirty dishes. Surely a work of art. Ah, knife. And don't call me Shirley. A trusty, dusty knife. It's so worn, it can't cut anymore. 
Its main uses recently have been to pry open jars of jam. I pick it up and add it to my inventory, just in case I'll need it. Pry that door with it. Alright, so go back to the entryway? Yeah, it's a, that's for prying. You You're something. a genius, Mr. Knighton! Alright, ready? Mm-hmm. Alright, so inventory. inventory. Knife. Knife. Use it on this. Using all the strength I can muster, I pry the cupboard door off of its hinges. Yay! <laughs> we did it! Gah! There, it's open. This was almost as hard as opening that jar of premium bubblegum jam last week. He has bubblegum jam too! <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> if only Dr. Frank was, was straight. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe he'll at least be like my best friend. <sighs> Sorry, honey, but if he was straight, like, you'd have some competition. Because he's That's got bubblegum everything. He's got a shirt or something. Rummaging inside, I find his shoes. <clears throat> Those are nice shoes. Mm -hmm. What an asshole. He's crying. <sighs> I can't believe he's really gone. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. I had been okay by myself. It was a gen I was a genius, surrounded by those who couldn't appreciate the beauty and grace of my work. Alone. Misunderstood. I had convinced myself that I was okay. I had my future all planned out. I was going to die an unknown genius, someone ahead of his time. But then, Dominic, the way he looked at me, at my research, I don't think Dominic's that hot. <laughs> I didn't even know it was possible that someone could potentially understand me. He knew what my work meant, what I meant, but he left. He's a dramatic dude, and I was alone again. And now this life I have chosen for myself is unbearable. The shoe's leather is rough on my hands. I should get this back to Iggs and the monster. We did a thing, honey! Is there anything else you can grab? No? Not that I can see. Okay, well. Though he has a letter on how to talk to a hot guy. <laughs> Alright, All right, so we need to get... Lab. Oh, to the lab. Oh, look at the little eggs. Eggs is cute. I kind of ship them. Like, no, I want them to not work a out. <laughs> well, if eggs and his boyfriend don't work out. I found this shirt. Great. I pull out my bed shirt and move it, move to put it on my boyfriend. What are you doing? What? I'm clearly giving my boyfriend a shirt. That's what you wanted, right? To abide by public decency laws and all that other crap. Well, I mean, don't you have anything fancier? Look, this is the only thing I own that will fit him. You can spruce it up at least. I mean, it has blood. Aren't those blood stains on the front? It's coffee. <clears throat> and what? You want me to spruce it up? What, what, what does that even mean? I'm pretty sure that's not coffee, Dr. Frank. Uh, do you own a tie or a bow tie or something? Besides the one I'm wearing? No, I... And I can't take this off. It'll ruin my look. <sighs> well, then you better find something else to go with it. Here, have this back. You'll probably need to combine this with something else. Hint, hint. Um, go to inventory. Combine it with that handkerchief. Oh! Wait, where'd it go? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> go down? Cool. There. Yeah, there. Use. Go talk to you again. Dr. Frank, I don't have time for this. There's something you really want to show me. Why don't you just talk to me? I guess I can do that. <laughs> just talk to him. I did talk to him. <clears throat> talk to him again. Here you go. Oh, sorry. Here you go. Fancy shirt. 
Shirt. Shirt. Wow, I can only just barely make out the coffee stains from back here. Hmm. You know what? Let's just make sure no one touches him during the presentation. For health precautions. Where'd our boyfriend go? <laughs> Talk to Iggs again. We got shoes in. I found shoes that will fit my boyfriend. <laughs> he looks so stupid with that napkin around his head. <laughs> That's great. Shoes. Shoes. I think our boyfriend's cute. So, do we need to do anything else? Uh, talk to him again. Hi, Dr. Frank. Do you need anything? I think these nipples are pepperoni. <laughs> Which we pick? Whatever one. <laughs> His nipples are I pepperoni slices. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, but why? Why not? Because nipples aren't usually made of pe pizza toppings. They're probably the most delicious nipples ever! My dear Ix, you're living in the past. This is cutting edge nipple technology we're working with here. My boyfriend has the best nipples in the world. They're meaty. They have enhanced flavor. They taste like pizza. Of course. Oh. Of course. Of course. <laughs> About Dominic? About Dominic? I don't want to talk about that asshole. But... I said I don't want to talk about him! I know. Sorry. I was just curious how much of your research did you end up showing him. Hmm. Everything he wanted to see, he kept asking, and I just wanted to keep him- keep talking to him, to keep having him come back. I showed him everything. Eh. I'm sorry, Dr. Frank. About what, Dr. Frank? Uh... Some pants? Yeah, we need to know where the pants We have a problem. If you, you say that as if it's something new. So my boyfriend has some unique enhancements in his general pants region. He's talking about his dong. <laughs> you can say that again. And I don't think I own any pants that fit his unique enhancements. Do you know anywhere I can find pants suitable enough for him? Now that's a hard one. That's what she said. <laughs> well, your best bet is to look outside of your house. That's what my intuition is telling me anyway. Uh, nothing about the shovel too, I guess. I see you're back. I have a question. About what, Dr. Frank? I thought we were going to ask him about the shovel. Yeah. What am I doing again? That's the question of the century, Dr. Frank. But seriously, what am I doing again? Ig gestures rudely toward... Oh. Ig's... That. <laughs> that, you need to dress that. Oh, right. Yeah, ask him a question, but... All right, so what do we ask him? Got a question. He's getting all pissed off. <laughs> Look, don't judge me. Well, then I must apologize in advance. Say, I have a question. What? Say, I have a question. Pick that one. I have a question. About what, Dr. Frank? Then I need help finding the shovel. I can't figure out how to get that shovel behind Susie. What? Why do you even need a shovel? You know, just in case. Dr. Frank, we're on a time limit here. Stop fooling around. You don't need the shovel. Hmm. Fine. Oh. Alright, I guess we don't need it. Should well, we look at this stuff? Uh, yeah. Truly the epitome of my life's work. Alright. The dissecting table. It's a, in a way, it's also my boyfriend's crib. On the next cribs. That doesn't sound weird, does it? <laughs> it does sound weird. 
It's filled with old magic books. I was able to snuggle, smuggle from <laughs> snuggle, <laughs> smuggle in from neighboring countries. Guy Miel's unique stance on magic has certainly made it hard to do any sort of research on magic fields. It was the best I could do to get my hands on intact reanimation research. What I would give for some necronomancy, necromancy texts. Ha, huh, like there's any that haven't been destroyed by now. And, uh, these letters? Reference pictures from my boyfriend. Alright. Alright, so we need to find a way to get outside to get pants. To that? Okay. Oh, do not enter. Uh. The church? Maybe the, the graveyard. The graveyard? Graveyard of the church. Yeah, it's back to the house. All right, let's go to the graveyard and find some pants. Hey, what's that on the tombstone? Where? I don't know, it's green, it looks like pants. Oh yeah, it looks pants-like. A handful of graves that we visited the previous night. Wish I could have grabbed Mr. Lance's penis while I had the chance, though. Huh. Well, I guess maybe not. What else? Bush? Immaculate rose bushes. The flowers in the church never used to be this beautiful. Strange. Uh. That's that. It's the outside of the church. <laughs> Alright, so there's nothing useful here. Let's go into the church now. Alright, let's go inside the church. Oh, oh weird. Pants. Hey, pants! A donation box that holds a large collection of clothing. This is probably for the needy. Hmm. I see a large pair of pants that could most likely accommodate a medium-sized dick. <laughs> well, I think I qualify as needy in some definitions of the word. I'll just... I'll just grab the pair of pants and try to stuff them into my pockets or as much as possible. They don't fit, the legs hanging out. Eh, close enough. Should we look at anything else? It's like a demon behind some kid. I think so. It's an elaborate stained glass window. It shows a sad looking boy surrounded by a black ba basilaskin. I'm so what crap? I've never noticed how anyone can believe in such illogical stories. It's an altar. I don't really know much else about it. A nice batch of roses and thorny vines sits before the altar. The Atlin religion uses roses as their center point. Wait a minute, but didn't this used to be a Chaldean Cal Cal church? Strange. A lot of shit here. A large variety of books adorn the shelf. They look really old, but well cared for. This church is weird. Hmm. Even with my vast spring of knowledge, I can't read any of the book titles. What language is this even? This is sketchy. A whole bunch of pews. Pew, pew, pew! <laughs> yeah. I have no idea why they have so many. It's like that many people even attend this church, what with it being in the middle of the mountains and all. Alright, I think we've... We got the pants. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we got pants. I turn around to leave with my contraband pants in tow. Except... Ah! Oh, I see we meet again. Good morning, Mr. Frank. Doctor. Excuse me? I'm Dr. Frank. Oh, well then please do forgive me, Dr. Frank. It's nice to finally meet you. My name is Silius. What? <laughs> I just moved here. Silios? Si Silioso? <laughs> I have no idea. I just moved here. Hmm. Took over the care of the church from the last priest. I think Joyful Leader likes his hair. <laughs> I see you found something of use in the donation box. Uh, uh, um. <laughs> Dr. Frank, no worries. That's what they're there for. If you have found use in them, then they were destined to go with you. Oh. Uh. 
Thanks. He gives me a cute smile. Wait, uh, I mean a sickly sweet smile. Since I just moved here... Hmm... I was hoping that someone might be able to show me around. Hmm... <laughs> this is so awkward. I gotta go! I run out of the church as fast as possible. Phew! Made it! He just about cornered me. I gotta keep an eye out for that guy. He's suspicious. Back home? Yeah. House. Alright, so lab. let's go back to the lab and give these to eggs. I pull out the pants I found. Can't believe you actually <laughs> found weird vegetable dick appropriated pants. And what exactly did you, where did exactly did you find those? The church. I, I don't even want to know how they ended up there. Pants. Pants. How does he know so much English? I heard them say it. Is that it? That's it? He's ready to go! Come on, let's go, boyfriend! Dr. Frank, Dr. Frank, please wait. We don't have time for this, Iggs. The conference is starting in a few minutes, and my boyfriend isn't there. But the suitors... Sutures. Sutures. Leading my boyfriend by the arm, I slam open the front door. To my dismay, standing there is... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Dr. Frank. <laughs> ah! Ah. I hope now is not a bad time. Ah! Shit! Field trip! Field trip! Who's this? This is, uh... Wait a minute. Maybe this would be a great opportunity to perfect the presentation I'll be giving at the conference. Um, yes. This dashing, handsome, absolutely sexy fellow here. Hmm. Is. My. Boyfriend! Papa. Gross. <laughs> uh. uh, no, don't say that. I love my papa. Uh, um, I am not into that, I, s I swear. There's no need to hide your interests, Dr. Frank. I'm not into that! Ah. Uh. Oh. My boyfriend suddenly moves on his own, waddling up to where the new neighbor is standing. Ah. Uh. Oh, hello, Mr. Dr. Frank's boyfriend. What's your name? Ah. Uh. Uh -huh. You seem like a very happy fellow. I'm glad that you were able to meet. I hope you treat Dr. Frank well. He seems like a nice, cute fellow. Aww. <laughs> I like monsters. My boyfriend suddenly clamps Silios on the huh. shoulders. His face is intense. Oh my god! <laughs> Mama. Aww. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Maybe they should just adopt him. Stop doing that! <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. Mama, mama! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Your boyfriend is so cute, Dr. Frank. I wouldn't oh mind my being your mother. <laughs> this is so one. weird! <laughs> this is so weird! He doesn't need a mother, or even a papa for that matter. No, Papa, Mama. Ah! I don't have time for this. We're going. I reach behind me, grabbing my boyfriend's arm to shove past Silios and make our way to the Grand Conference. Except... My arm doesn't quite have the resistance I'm expecting. Instead, I look behind me and see that I'm holding half of an arm. Dr. Frank... I had ripped my boyfriend's arm off. I slam the door shut, ignoring the muffled noises I can hear from the other side. 
Shit! What time is it? The conference started about five minutes ago. I look down at the arm in my hands. The skin seems to be slipping off. Looks like it's rotting. What do you mean it's rotting? Well, if it is dead flesh, we didn't soak it in formalin or anything. That would make it look hideous. I can't work with a hideous body part, can I, Ix? Field trip? We'll just sew on another one. Real quick. Go fetch me one of the other ones. It's but still one of the other still slightly uglier specimens from the lab. I know, Joyful Leader, isn't this sad? Iggs. Uh, please don't yell at me. I got rid of the extras. Our poor our boyfriend, his arm looks like, like melted cheese. <laughs> what? I returned them back to the graves. I was feeling so guilty. You, we had desecrated people's graves for those pieces, and you weren't even using them. At least I could do was return them. Well, what the hell are we supposed to do now? Bring my ultimate boyfriend on stage while he's got a gaping arm wound dripping all over the place? I would match the blood stains on his shirt, at least. For the last time, it's coffee. Ugh. I have to calm down. The conference just started, and it'll go for another two hours. Dominic's presentation isn't until the end anyway. We'll just crash his presentation. So we need to dig up another arm. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not doing that. What else am I paying you for, Iggs? Go dig up that arm. Ah, oh, oh. Angry bad. My boyfriend inserts himself between Iggs and I, cutting off any argument that we might have started. Fine, I'll do it. You stay here and babysit. What a thing to say about your boyfriend. <laughs> Judgy. I leave. Objective. Find your boyfriend a new arm. Okay. Let me get that shovel somehow. So go ask Iggs how to get the shovel now that we need it. He might tell us. So we need to get the shovel? Uh-huh. Are you almost done? No, not yet. And I'll be done faster if you help me. Can I do you four? Question. I have a question. Uh -huh. What about what, Doctor Frank? I need to find him. Double. I told you I needed that shovel. How do I get it? Sigh. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Well, didn't you build Susie to lust after the flesh of men? I did indeed. We well, can probably use that to your advantage. Okay. Uh, maybe. Oh. Let's ask him another question about the arm, maybe? Alright, go for it. His. Oh. His arm fell off! I s it certainly did, Dr. Frank. And since you got rid of all the extras, where can I get another one? You dig up your own from the graveyard. Oh, I guess I could. Ask him one more thing about Papa. <laughs> yes, Dr. Frank? Papa! Papa is back! Okay, while I'm out, your job is to, uh, train him out of that. Why me? What else do I pay you for? For helping you run your experiments, Dr. Frank, not for training your undead boyfriend out of his daddy kink. This is an experiment, so technically part of your job description. And need I remind you that your current job is to make him stop referring to me as Papa. I am to be formally dressed, addressed as boyfriend. Papa! This is inhuman on so many levels.
Dr. Frank, look, I don't mean to be rude or anything, but why exactly did you <laughs> suture cucumber. a cucumber to your boyfriend's crotch? We didn't have any dicks to choose from. I was being creative. I painted over it. It doesn't even look all that weird in the right light. Plus, it can act as an emergency ration. That's another selling point. Unlike normal boyfriends, his penis is versatile. Uh, I think you're taking the idea of eating your boyfriend's penis a little too far. Okay, Dr. Frank. Okay, so we need flesh? Where do we get flesh? Go to the conservatory real quick. Look in our inventory. We have a knife and a porn magazine. Everything. Yeah. Uh, let's leave then. <laughs> so we need man meat for the thingy. Leave. Is there any oh, meat in the kitchen? Try the fridge again. Nothing in there. I'd say let's go to the cemetery. The church or whatever. That guy's gonna bug us again. Maybe we can- Ah, there he is! He's got his own shovel. Holy shit! Crap, I made eye contact with him. Um... Nice to see you again, Mr. Frank. Doctor! Oh, please forgive me. That was awfully rude, especially after you took the time to correct me the previous time. Is there anything I can do to make it up to you? Hmm. Ah, oh, well. If you ever think of anything, feel free to let me know. Suspicious. I asked to borrow a shovel. <laughs> I want to borrow your shovel! <laughs> I can't believe his arm fell off. It was such a beautiful arm, too. I guess I should dig up another one quickly. Though I should probably find something to dig it up first. There's a shovel right there! Ah, Dr. Frank, you're back. Did I get it right this time? Uh, yes. Yes, you did. Is there anything I can help you with? Can I have your shovel? Can I have your shovel? My, at least take me out <laughs> to on a date first. <laughs> wow. What? What? No, I need it for. For what, Doctor Frank? To you know, dig up stuff. Well, I'm sorry to say that you'll have to use your own shovel to dig up stuff. What a dick. <laughs> I try not to lend my shovel around lightly. I wouldn't want it to get dirty. It's a shovel. <laughs> Why is everyone so perverse? Is it for eggs? We're still talking about gardening equipment, right? Are you f f flirting with me? Oh, am I? You keep telling me I'm cute. Forgive me if that is causing you any distress. I can stop if you want. Uh. Dr. Frank, would you like me to stop? Uh, I gotta go. Hi. Well, damn. My, do you like talking to me that much? <sighs> Let's try this. The altar inside. It has roses? Indeed, I worked hard to cultivate them, so I'm especially glad to see them blooming so beautifully. Except roses are a symbol of Atlin religion, and this used to be a Chaldean church. Hmm. Is that so? Wait, did you not know that? I'll profess that I did not. The altar was barren. When I arrived, so I simply planted flowers that I knew would thrive in that type of soil. How do you know that this was even a Chaldean church? Or how did you not know? 
Didn't you say you took over the church from the last priest? I did indeed. Then I mean, at the very least, he would have mentioned the religious sect of the church you were inheriting, right? He did not. Our conversation was cut rather short. A chill suddenly runs up my spine. Cut short. Hmm. Um, how was it cut short? Oh shit, this is bad. Well, he had to leave in a hurry. I'm not sure about what. Our conversation was rather short, all in all. Are you even a priest? I do not believe I ever stated such. Huh. Then what are you? I'm a gardener. He gives me another smile. It's kind of cute. Wait, what am I thinking? I hope that won't be an issue. Dr. Frank? No, I, uh, I just assumed that you were a priest. Sorry. <laughs> Dr. Frank, why are you so apologizing? It was my own fault for not being clear in my introductions. I'm afraid to say that I won't be preaching any sermons here. I'm sorry if you frequent this church. I wouldn't attend a church even if you paid me. Oh, well then. My not giving any sermon should pose no issue. I know that a few of the villagers were sad to see the last priest go. But they won't have to wait long before the next priest arrives. Wait, what? I'm just stopping through. Oh, you're not staying? Why am I feeling sad all of a sudden? Hmm. Well, that all depends on how things turn out. There's a chance I won't be here for long. Why are you even here? <laughs> so direct. Well, I heard a rumor and I decided to investigate. That's all. What rumor? I love the way your glasses bring out the color of your He's eyes. He's so forward! Huh? Ah, oh, sorry, did I say that out loud? How embarrassing. Wait a minute, you never answered my question. Oh, how rude of me. What question was it? What rumor are you here investigating? My, your hair is such a cute shade of pink. I wonder if it feels as fluffy as it looks. What? Dr. Frank, are you feeling all right? You're turning a strange shade of red. Red, shut up. He's <laughs> too strong for me. Never mind. Come back any time. All right, have we accomplished anything? Uh, we still need meat, and we still need a shovel. So we need to go, we need go to find a way. Go church. See what's in there. You think there's a shovel in here? Um, all right. I'm just seeing if maybe something new appeared. Uh... Go further down the road. Okay. I keep following the road. If you keep following the road, you'll end up in town. But I can't go just yet. Okay, oh, we no. can't do that. So, to the house? Yeah. I think we need to go to the conservatory. And do what? Crap, it'll probably die. <laughs> and again, we'll just start over, right? Let's just try it. Wait, Susie is sitting right there. I can't reach it without being attacked. Treasure of life. I should value my own life more. Need to find a way to distract him first. Hmm. Distract him. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Try and use that. I'm gonna use the porn magazine. Alright, see if that works. Oh, yeah, it lusts for meaty flesh. Ah, I'm <laughs> smart. I slide up towards Susie, keeping my head low. Hey, kid, want to see something cool? The plant hisses at me as I bring out a certain magazine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he goes silent as he sees the sparkling muscles on the cover. Oh, my God. <laughs> so much meat. Too hot to handle. More hunks than ever before. Rated number one somewhere, probably. <laughs> a great quote. Wow, from someone. 
<laughs> I can accidentally leave this behind if I'm able to get closer to certain gardening equipment. He grabs the magazine in his jaws, opening up to a full spread image. He no longer pays me any mind. Oh, he lusts for meat in a different way. <laughs> yeah. Right, I let's grab the shovel. It's all blushing now. <laughs> oh my god! I managed to sneak around the distracted Susie and grab the shovel. All right, back to the graveyard. Look at it! <laughs> it's just sitting <laughs> Click there. Click on it, see what it does. It's sitting there reading porn. You can't. Oh, don't want to disturb him. <laughs> okay. Okay then. Let's get out of here. All right, so we have a shovel. Let's go to the graveyard. Hopefully, he's not there still. We're so good at boyfriend Damn, making. Still here. Ah. Talk to him. Stop! You're making me blush, Doctor Frank. Ah. I'm just visiting to ask you so, to ask some questions. Oh, is that what they're calling it nowadays? The mm. chat's being awfully quiet. It's freaking me out. <laughs> oh well. He winks at me. <laughs> so what is it that you want to ask me? Never mind. I await your return. Bullshit. Um. I guess just start digging. <laughs> Thanks, Joyful Leader. Uh, let's see if we can dig. <laughs> I can't just start digging up body parts with them standing there. Um, Damn it. What's in our inventory? Anything? Well, well I already gave away you my could knife him. <laughs> just kill him. <laughs> what? You think so? Oh, Dr. Frank, if you want to show me something, why don't you talk to me? Oh. No, I guess not. <laughs> Try shovel on him. <laughs> hmm. uh, All right. We gotta find a way to get rid of him. Go ask How do we a, get rid of him? What's his butt might have an answer. All right, let's Eggs. go back to the lab and see what Igg says. Yes, Dr. Frank? Papa. Good freaking work with that. <laughs> About what, Dr. Frank? Oh, never mind. Silios is standing right there. I can't just dig up a new arm. Well, then maybe you should distract him. What? How? Have you asked him? What? You think he's just going to tell me? Might as well try. <laughs> okay, let's go talk to him again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi there, Dr. Frank. What would make you leave like the garden? <laughs> okay. That's direct. Yep. <laughs> You have an interesting look on your face there, Dr. Frank. Yeah, so... Um... Hypothetically, if something big happened, would you leave? Excuse me. I mean, like... If something happened, would you go check it out? Well, I suppose. Great! Hmm. So, uh, what things would you leave for? Dr. Frank, do you want me to leave? Oh, no, no, I'm not saying that at all. Then why are you asking me this? No reason, absolutely no reason. Hmm. Damn it! <laughs> I didn't tell shit, but, um, I don't know. What can we do to either, Dr. Frank? <laughs> Seriously, what would you leave for? Uh, hypothetically, of course. I really gotta know what would make you leave this area. Well then, hypothetically, I suppose if something happened to my flowers... The weed killer! Ah, maybe the altar roses. I would naturally have to rush to be with them. Ooh! Alright, we're gonna get the weed killer. We're making good progress, I think, right? So as long as the weed killer doesn't kill us somehow. Let's try it. 
But we need to pick it up, dude. I don't have anything to pick it up with. Yeah, we don't know how to carry that. That's weed grower anyways. Um, Alright, well, our plant's still happy. Good. <laughs> Alright, well, we've got the weed killer. Let's go destroy his roses. He gets for getting in my way. Use it. So mean. <laughs> Whatever, dude. We got priorities. <laughs> I quickly dump all of the powder on the roses, trying my hardest not to breathe in the dust. Vines, lion manes, and other weeds start popping up immediately, covering up the roses that were there before. That'll do it. Now just just to let this now just to let this get sillios away from the graves. Huh? Right. Um. Yes, yeah, suck it. Hey Cilios, I saw a whole bunch of weeds in the church. They were in a little box with your roses. Hmm. Well, then I suppose I need to leave this area completely unattended and go into the church. Yeah, piss off. He winks at me and rushes off. Yay! Shovel time. Shovel time! <laughs> we tried to knife him. <laughs> so fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> we have priorities. <clears throat> I move to dig again when something strong grabs the end of my shovel. Papa! B b boyfriend Me too, me too. He grabs the shovel and starts digging in the grave. Even with only a single hand, he boots to shame my own progress. He wanted to come find you. It's Iggs. For some reason, I'm happy to see him. I am totally shipping them. <laughs> I'm shipping him with the gardener. Ah, so cute. What a great boyfriend. Wait, did anyone see him? Dr. Frank, you live in, whoa. You live in a nigh and mountain range. No, no one saw him. Oh, good, good. Aww. It seemed the monster had found something while digging. Eegs walks over to pick up the severed arm that had quickly, he had quickly reburied in the wee hours of the morning. Now, how do we get this on again? My assistant starts to hand me a stapler for the arm, but then pulls back after a second thought. Are you sure about this, Dr. Frank? Uh, what? Come on, we have to get going. Give me the stapler. I mean, you're doing this all to get back at Dominic, right? Have you been paying any attention? I'm taking my revenge on him and those stupid university types who... Right, I just, I think you're putting too much energy into this. Too much. I reach for the stapler, but he pulls back. So, you get your revenge, and then what? I reach out again, but he dodges me. Dr. Frank, then what? Then I'll be happy, and they recognize, and they recognize what amazing work I've done, and... Again, I reach for the stapler, but to no avail. Iggs, we don't have time for this. When will you have time for this, Dr. Frank? I tried to ask you two days ago, and a week before that, but you kept, you keep avoiding the question. Hmm. What are you going to do now, after you take your revenge? Well, then everyone will love me, and they'll accept me back into the university, and Dominic will be so destroyed that he'll have to leave the country. And what if that doesn't happen? Dr. Frank. I don't know, Iggs. Eh. Now can you please give me the damn stapler? He hands it to me and I take it without looking him in the eye. Arm. Arm. I quickly reattach it to the best of my abilities. Now he's ready for the conference. And only a few minutes to spare until the presentation starts. Let's go. Yay, we made it! <laughs> we arrive for Dominic's presentation, the conference brimming with people. 
To think that all these people would have been looking upon my research at me if only things had been different. If only Susan he hadn't had that one unfortunate encounter with Headmaster Aaron. If only that professor hadn't threatened to report my work to the Queen's men. I could have been up there. Ah, now, where is that asshole? Just then, the current presenter goes behind the curtains, and for a split second I can see a certain brown-haired man I could never forget. That asshole. I charge off, pushing through the crowd, Iggs and the monster on my heels. We make it behind the stage, just in the nick of time. You! He sees me and takes a step back. Oh, wow, uh, what are you doing here, Frankenfurter? Gah! What am I doing here? I'm here to take my revenge. Uh, dude, what? You, you stole my research, everything I worked so hard for, and now you're presenting it to these people, and, and... Uh, what, bro, can we talk about this later? I'm like five minutes away from doing this thing. Gah! Fuck you! You broke my heart! Dude, are you still hung up about that? Oh, what? I mean, it was like, what, two weeks tops? Well, well, fuck you! And now, now I have someone better. I glance behind me to present my new and better improved boyfriend, but he's still off in the crowds. Him and Iggs fighting to slip behind the stage. I made, I made an entirely new creature, a new life form. He's, he's better than you. He's more handsome and more affectionate and listens to me when I speak and he's just a million times better than you in every way. Oh, uh, cool. So, I'm going to go do my presentation now. But, 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 but aren't you intimidated? Speechless at how I've completely moved on from you and you were nothing but a mistake. Yeah, that's cool, bro. I'm going to go do my presentation. He turns to leave, but I follow on his heels. Your awesome research. Don't you mean my awesome research? You stole it from me. That's why I'm doing all of this. To, you're, you were ta I'm taking my revenge. Yours? Uh, I mean, it's based on your research, but it's still my experiment. Don't worry, I cited you as a... Bibliography of the paper. Suddenly the crowd starts clapping and a man pulls back the curtain, motioning for Dominic to go on stage. Uh, look, I gotta go. But that's my research! I rush to stop him from going out there, from claiming my research as his own, but then... I don't know. Mr. Frank? I don't know. I turn around to see Headmaster Aaron. Huh? You doing? <laughs> okay, I got this. What the hell are you doing here? Ix has finally caught up with a monster, both out of breath. And what the hell is that? He gestures towards the monster, who was just staring at his missing hand. I know, right, Joyful Leader? His hair totally looks like cotton candy. <laughs> You, you people, you fools, stand back. So, Joyful Leader, how do you think this is going to go? Do you think we're finally going to get our revenge? Let us know. And if there's anyone else, uh, let us know how you think this is going to go. Apparently there's different endings. There, yeah, apparently there's multiple endings to this game, so we're curious. I, I did the impossible. I have created an incredible experiment that will revolutionize the nature of humanity. I created the world's first artificial life form, and I'm going out there, and I'm going to go out there and change this loveless, cruel world. That man, he stole my research. My research, hear me? I'm not going to let any of you step all over me again. Mr. Frank, Mr. Lillian is an esteemed member of a doctorate program, and he has such, cl and any such claims of plagiarism are to be taken seriously. And if you truly wish to pursue this further, and this isn't yet again another one of your outbursts, you can take that up with. Just then, the crowd bursts out in some, in sound from the other side of the curtains, and I turn to look. 
There's a bird flying around out there. Somehow he'd been able to reanimate it. We've gone from Frankenstein to reanimator. <laughs> Gad help us. All of a sudden, people start moving. Stagehands are running off, whispering among themselves. Don't mention this creation you brought with you to anyone, Dr. Frank. What? But I'm here to present. Would you shut up for once? The Queen herself is in attendance tonight. Is she? It's been all over the papers. Ah. Suddenly a few armored guards rush past, shoving their way onto the stage where a bewildered Dominic stands. The headmaster pulls me back, further out of the sight lines of the ominous-looking guardsmen. Look, Dr. Frank, we've tolerated a lot of your shenanigans in the past. Despite what, you, what we have told you multiple times regarding the legality of your work. But what is this... What is invention... But what is invention in the face of? <laughs> Despite multiple warnings, you have continued to pursue legal research. Illegal research. And now that you have passed the same illegal research under one of our students... The guardsmen have now... This is turning out really badly. Dominic. The guardsmen have begun to round up stagehands, lining them up next to Dominic, most likely to arrest him. If you don't say anything, they won't arrest you too. D two Some yelling breaks out from the stage. It's Dominic yelling at the guardsmen. One of them pushes the other, and suddenly the three of them are fighting. What's the big idea? Our eyes lock. It's not mine. It it it's his. He makes a lunge towards me, but one of the guardsmen hit him and he falls to the ground. I suggest you leave. People have started to scream. What in the world is even going on in the audience? Dr. Frank, we need to go. But, but, but my revenge! Iggs grabs my hand and pulls me away. We make it out of town just in time. There are fires dotting the horizon in the direction of Hindenburg University. Eh. We're lucky to have escaped, you know. Oh, butterfly. The monster runs off to chase an insect. So what now, Dr. Frank? Now that the university has realized the error of its ways and Dominic has been forced out of the country. And that everyone loves you and nothing bad will ever happen again. I don't know, okay? I don't know what the hell I'm going to do now. The university will never accept now. I glance towards the fires that have broken out in town. And that asshole, he didn't even. Can I make a suggestion? Ugh. Since you didn't say no. I've grown up in this town your whole life, right? Our kitty insists on joining us for this. <laughs> yeah. The mansion was your grandmother's, from what I remember. Uh, so far, everybody in this game, Joyful Leader, are all men. Uh, Dr. Frank's a man, Iggs is a man, all the boyfriends are men, potential boyfriends are men. There hasn't been a single woman in this game except for the <laughs> alleged queen. Yeah. So what? So this is your hometown, and it's the only place you've ever lived. And maybe it would be good to get some perspective. I mean, everyone here knows that you're a weird guy who lives in a creepy mansion in the woods and is obsessed with illegal research. You don't have to put it that way. There's a program I know just over the border in Espington 
that specializes in plant regeneration. My boyfriend went to the university there and mentioned it. I know it's not uh, exactly the same re exact research as what you've been doing, but you could probably find some use for it in your own experiments. So what? Are you saying I should just, I don't know, go there instead? Well, yes. So, I have to go to a completely different country to even find a place that would recognize my genius? Dr. Frank, I'm saying maybe it's time to get out of your house and stop obsessing over your revenge, over making other people like you. Not to mention that it, if you manage to blow up a laboratory building again, it would be much easier to avoid the repercussions if it happened in another country. But the people in Esbington are so stuffy and snotty and... Ah, watch your step. <laughs> butterfly! Butterfly! The monster comes charging over again, chasing a bug that is clearly not a butterfly. Just then I realize that Silios has followed the monster over to us. Ah! Oh, I see we meet again, Dr. Frank. Um, can we help you with anything? Papa, butterfly, pretty. <laughs> oh, I had just happened to see your cute child here running through the church grounds. I was a bit worried about him falling into the ditch or even one of the unearthed graves. I haven't a clue as to where that came from. Ah, oh, and also, I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but are you discussing Espington? Uh, uh, yeah, we were. I'm actually from Espington originally. In fact, if there's anything you need to know, I would love to help. That's very generous of you, but if it was just a thought, I'm not sure if Dr. Frank is even going to move there. Yes, I would love to know. Please tell me everything. <laughs> very well. Feel free to ask me anything, Dr. Frank. Butterfly, pretty. The monster shoves a dead insect into my face. At a later time, of course. We ought to be getting back to the house. Right. I wave goodbye to Silios as we head back up to the mountain. Two months later. Oh, look how cute we are! Look at our little face! <laughs> Ask me that question again. Um, where do you see yourself in ten years? Having cracked the code of animal regeneration and about to be entering clinical trials on testing on humans. Maybe you should leave out the human experimentation part, Dr. Frank. But otherwise, great. I think you're ready to go. Do I look okay? Maybe put more gel on your hair? There's no way that that's going to stay down for the whole trip over there. But I already used the whole jar. Oh, well, maybe just try not to touch it then. Sure enough, moments later, my hair reverts back to its original form. Ah, so much for that. Don't worry about your hair, Dr. Frank. I'm sure you'll do just fine. Ah, yes, if you say so. Are you ready to go? I think Silios is... We'll be here in a few minutes. He's helping cross the border, right? Dr. Frank? Ah. Uh, seemed kind of out of it. Is there for a second? I don't know. Still feeling apprehensive? It's just, what if I'm making a fool of myself? Or they already know who I am and are, are going to reject me anyway. It would be pretty cruel to invite someone to an interview if they know that you're going to reject them anyway. And even if that were the case, that would say more about them than you, right? If you say so. I'm just... I don't know. Hmm. I keep thinking maybe it would be better to stay home and work on experiments. It just feels so weird to be doing this. Why? Because, I mean, I don't normally do this, you know? It's dumb. I'm sure I look dumb to other people. I have better things to do than dress up fancy and have people with inferior intellects tell me what to think. What did you say about your- what did we say about your manners? 
Oh, sorry. It won't come out in the interview. Good. Just give it a try. What's the worst that could happen? I suppose. I take a deep breath. At least I can gain some intel as to the Espington scientific process while I'm over there. And you won't be alone either. I'm sure Celius can help you get to where you need to be. Suddenly there's a knock at the front door. Visitor, visitor! Ah, uh, monster, don't open that. Too late, he's already rushing off to open the door. Ah, well, at least we know who's at the door this time. Are you ready, Dr. Frank? I happen to glance at my reflection in the mirror. I set my face into a determined look. It's something to try, if nothing else. It would waste time, but I have no idea what's going to happen. Maybe something will, maybe not. And although I don't want to admit it to Iggs, the act of having something to do besides trying to impress a university that has turned its back on me feels like a breath of fresh air. I smile. Ready as I'll ever be. You've been unlocked. The end! We, we finished the game! New Leaf. <laughs> Alright. Well, that was one possible ending that we found. <laughs> we only died once, and it was because of a damn dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> dictionary, fellas? That's so weird. So, uh... Well then. <laughs> now can we look at... The, ah, it looks like you haven't found the secret ending like yet. Do you want a hint? Mm. Yes, please. <laughs> Find a news for that gigantic dictionary in Dr. Frank's study. Uh, killed us. Yeah, all right. Oh, well, but killed us because we went to the conservatory. Maybe if we go to the bottom floor, you can't fall through a floor. Yeah. Oh, well. Maybe next time. Then with the information you gained from that, make sure to ask some questions to a certain someone. You'll only be able to ask them specific questions in the second half of the game after the monster boyfriend's arm has been ripped off. And yet another prerequisite for this ending is that you need to have asked this person something about the church that Dr. Frank found suspicious. Good luck. Yes, gotta make more <laughs> leeway with Celio or whatever his name is. Okay, so we finished the game. Uh, I don't know, do you think you'd want to play it again for a different ending? Not right now. I mean, now. not right now, <laughs> but like on another day. I gotta sit on it for a while. <laughs> Alright, so let us know in the chat if we decide to come back and do this again, you know, sometime soon, and make a new boyfriend and try for a different ending, would you like to join us? Did you enjoy our, uh, adventures today? Misadventures. <laughs> Misadventures, indeed. Anyway, thanks to OCD Horror, Joseph Hall, Simon, Joyful Leader, uh, Sick Parvis Magna, and uh, Hello Nightmare Files. We're just about ready to head out for the night. Yep. But it was great having you guys all here. It was great seeing everyone. And I hope you guys enjoyed Dr. Frank's Build a Boyfriend. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Until next time. Thanks for watching and... Good night. <laughs>